Um, annoying night wind. We've all been there. Hello everybody and welcome to my drawing session. I am Scribbling Chimp and I am going to teach you how to draw. Today we have this lovely piece of paper. There it is, look. Isn't it lovely? So, I've been trying to think of ways to um, expand my target audience for these drawing sessions. So, I chose carefully selected, chose a superhero that appeals to all demographs. Are you part of a demograph? If you're part of a demograph, then this superhero will appeal to you. I guarantee, I promise you, because today we are going to draw... I'm gonna draw... I'm gonna draw this guy here, Flash Gordon. It's a Flash Gordon one. We're going to do Flash Gordon. Look at him there. Isn't he brilliant? Sam J. Jones. Looking all mean and chiseled. Yeah. All right. We're going to draw him. And I'm going to get straight into it. There will be no dilly-dallying in this session whatsoever. Now, as you know, I like to have a bit of background music to work in. Okay? And... As far as Flash Gordon's concerned, that is a no-brainer because Flash Gordon does actually have one of the most amazing soundtracks of a film ever. But obviously, I can't just make this video and put on a Queen tune, can I? You know, like, um, that's very bad for business. Um, copyrights and all that. So what I've done is I have written my own version of the Flash Gordon theme tune, um, which has been precision engineered not to infringe any copyright laws. Um, so I've added a bit there, I've tweaked a little bit there. It's basically the Flash Gordon tune that Queen wished that they wrote, not being big headed. Okay, cue the music. Let's get into it, Flash Gordon. Obviously, I will, um, I will be posting a tablature of this tune for anyone interested in learning it. Flash Gordon look. Most important part of a Flash Gordon drawing is the hair. Because look at that hair. Sam J. Jones looking like a lovely golden pear. And I'm gonna, gonna recreate that for you. These beautiful locks. I'm gonna now. Yeah, Flash Gordon, what a film. Who doesn't like Flash Gordon? Who doesn't? Hey, hey check this bit out, yeah? Yes! Yes! Man. Goosebumps all over. Okay, right, so... Flash Gordon, man. He took on an empire. And he, and he swatted it, didn't he? Swatted, swatted that empire with all his might, all kinds of stuff, tanks and ships of all weapons. He got, he got executed in his underpants and he just, you know, he just went, went through it all like it was, uh, like it was nothing. And, uh, I mean, who can say, who can say they did that? But I'll tell you who, Flash Gordon, played by the able-bodied Sam J. Jones. Lots of weird stuff in that film. I mean, look, like, just, hang on. I mean, I mean, seriously, get this image, Google that sword. Yeah, Google this image, Google the full image. That sword is bloody huge, man. star cast your man your man from blue peter getting stung by that green spider i mean what was what was all that about crazy um okay so bit of a rookie mistake um i was intending to put a bit more body into this give him a bit more of a body but i think with a bit of skill a bit of patience 
Um, I can remedy that. I can put the body in. Look, there's his bicep. Stroking along his masculine chin. There. <laughs> should, uh, should crack on and really finish that bit quick, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, that's his elbow. Pointing down, going up. And doing that, going all skinny at the end. Don't worry too much about arms, okay? All right, because everyone's, everyone, everyone looks at faces. Yeah, so do the, do the fingers. Remember, if someone's holding something, usually means the fingers go kind of opposite directions. I mean, there's all kind of weird alien stuff going on in Flash Gordon. I mean, yeah, his hand's kind of representative of some of the crazy shenanigans that you'll see during that film. I, I mean, it's going good. It's going really good, guys. In a minute, I'm going to put my pen down. I'm just going to do a bit more, a bit more of this vest. Yeah, do his arm going up like that. Sword there. That flipping really huge sword. Uh, doesn't have a bottom to it. the defining point of the vest there right folks guess what I'm putting my pen down all right yeah there he is it was deceptively challenging drawing this gentleman and it was a challenge that I am proud to have conquered on this day. Excellent stuff. Right, now, you can't really improve on perfection, but having said that, Flash Gordon was made in the 80s. I forget what year. It's pathetic, isn't it? But we're talking almost 40 years ago. So now the question is, with the incredibly dense stomping ground that is superhero movies these days, does Flash Gordon really stand the test of time? Is he really strong enough to cut the mustard with all the modern superheroes? I mean, I know for a fact that um, Sam Jones was the man who um, took on the role of Flash Gordon in the 80s. I, I know that for a fact. And I know that he was right for the job because when he auditioned and all the directors and all the producers were standing in front of him with his bare fans, with his bare hands, he managed to bust a crab. <laughs> yeah. See the quantity of stuttering that led to that pun and the payoff wasn't really worth it. But there's only one way of doing this, and that is a test of strength and a test of endurance. Now, Flash Gordon's nemesis was Ming the Merciless. I wanted to recreate some Ming the Merciless shenanigans um, to see if Sam Jones was able to cut the mustard like he could back in the 80s. And the first thing that sprung to mind was the opening scene to Flash Gordon when Ming the Merciless has his little weather machine. Do you remember his little weather machine? Um, where he's got the button for the earthquake and the button for the typhoon and the button for the um, volcano. Okay, all right, okay, it was more of an elemental machine. It was more of a natural disaster machine, but I'm, I'm going to call it a weather machine for this because I've already written the gag. But I think that was possibly one of the most um, malicious moments of the entire film, just pushing a button and destroying entire sections of planet Earth. What a git. So um, I thought I'd bring my own Ming the Merciless weather machine and put this young chap here to the test. Okay, so I'm just going to get it now. Flash Gordon, quarterback, New York. Ah. Okay, sorry about that. Um, right, okay, so here we go. This is it. Now, the um, 
Okay, all right, so it's not Ming's weather machine, it's a cheap knockoff, okay? Um, I, I work within my means, okay? I didn't have the financial resources to purchase the full weather machine from Ming the Merciless, so I bought this, um, this kind of slightly ropey, cheap imitation type thing. Um, and these guys, very much like me with my copyright my copyright worries uh, didn't want to get into any financial trouble so there has been a slight change in name and this is actually Mung's weather machine it's not Ming's weather machine it's Mung's weather machine um, which I think you know is a is a serviceable um, replacement to be honest I think um, now I've calibrated the settings to British weather so we got some traditional British settings here. Okay, we got um, we got sun, but bloody cooking. Um, we've got insipid, overcast. A few buttons here. Yeah. Um, noisy big rains, uh, snowings. That button's actually broke at the moment. Okay, can't use that one. Um, annoying night wind. We've all been there. And at the bottom, clear sky in the morning tricked you, lol. Okay, and there's actually a dial for that, so you can, um, you know, so you can toggle between those clear blue skies and that sudden downpour that, you know, um, seemingly comes from nowhere. Okay, so, right. So, Mr. Jones, I'm going to cut you out, sir. All right. And we're going to put you through your paces. So, we're going to do this quick because nobody wants to log on to YouTube to see me cut through a piece of paper. Um, but this man needs to stand proud and alone in his vest with no help and he might sink or he might swim we'll soon see huge sword google it okay I'll give him a fair give him a fair start okay give him a fair start I'm just gonna Put that little bit of sellotape there. Okay, right. So, here we go. Annoying wind. We're going to crank it up. Three, two, one. Going to go slowly to start with. And here we go. Oh, he's doing well. Doing well. Got hit by a bit of debris. Or should I say debris? Still going. Going, yeah. Um, he's doing well. He's doing well. Um, how long should we leave it? Another 60 seconds? He's doing really good, isn't he? Ah, well done. Right, how about we um, how about we get the weather machine and we crank it back down a second? little bit more until it's completely switched off marvelous well done sam you did it okay now i'm gonna add another step sunny gonna throw another spanner in the works for you gonna add some noisy big rains okay Grains. And it stopped raining. Like I said, it's an old machine. You know, not very sophisticated. Am I going to try the annoying night wind again? We're going to crank it back up right up to four. Nothing. Not even phased. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Flash Gordon, Sam Jones, able to stand the test of time and show these young bucks how it's done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something about drawing in this session. It was an absolute honor. And listen, learn to draw. It's fun. And I will see you all next time. Ta-ta!